أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ثم الصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وأصحابه الأخيار أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Okay, so inshallah today we pick from anwa'ul af'al types of verbs So it says Suad, Babul Af'al That is the author's book the author of Ajrumiya, the author of Ajrumiya, what he said, he quotes it and he says, Babul Af'al, that is a chapter for verbs, or chapter of verbs. And in explanation, he says, Sabaka lana annahu qala fi awwal al-kitab. When he says, Sabaka lana, yani we've previously seen. Sabaka lana annahu qala fi awwal al-kitab. We've previously seen that he has mentioned in the beginning of the book, the author of Ajrumiya has mentioned that wa aksamuhu thalata, after defining a kalima, or kalam, after defining kalam, then he said wa aksamuhu thalathatun, ismun wa fi'ilun wa harf. Okay. And here, and in the definition there, the author again said in the early part of the book, he said, وَأَمَّا الْفِعِلُ After saying ismun wa fi'ilun wa harf, after mentioning what ism is, the author told us that وَأَمَّا الْفِعِلُ You can cross-check with your book in the early part. And here, وَهُنَا قَالَ بَابُ الْأَفْعَالِ فَلِمَاذَا جَمَعَ هُنَا وَأَفْرَدَ هُنَاك Why did the author make the, the word verb plural here? And made it singular in the beginning of the book where he said, Why did he say and not afalu? And here he made it plural and said, Babul Afal. Okay. Imam Uthaymin is telling us that the answer to that is that he says, Al Jawab, the response or the answer. Afra the Hunak. He made it's singular there where he said wa amma al he made it singular there li anna al maqsuda al jins because what was intended there was the family name the species name so why you want to give the species name of something like um, lizard you say uh, i think reptile and then the crocodile will also come to be a reptile and all these crawling animals will now fall into the species name, which is the reptile. So making it singular becomes the species name, which is the family name. It covers all. It says, لِأَنَّ الْمَقْصُودَ الْجِنْسِ Al-Jins is the species name of something, the family name. So you see, with the example I just said, we can say the crocodile is a reptile. But we can say a reptile is a crocodile. Always the family name is the subject. Or oh, this family name, he will explain it here clearly for us as he says, Wajama Ahuna. He made it um, plural here, li anel maqsuda and now because what he intended here is that the type. He intended to give us the types of verbs, not to mention the family name. Okay. Says Huna says Kuru Anwa al Afal. Here he's going to mention the types of verbs. Amma Hunak, as for there in the beginning of the book, Fa innama arada dhikr al jins fakat. He intended to mention the family name, just the family name. Wal jinsu and jins, he says Al Fi'lu Yashmalu kulla naw kulla naw in. If we say al fi'lu, it covers all types of Verbs. Well, farku bayna al jins wa no, and the difference between the family name or the species name and the type is anna ma sahha an yuhbara bihi an al akhari dun al aks. That one can be used to inform about the other, but not in the opposite way. I will come and clarify this. I sahha an yuhbara. بالواحد عن الآخر دون الأكس أكس بمعنى the opposite way the other way around he says فالذي يخبر 
bihi huwa al jinsu the one that is used as yukhbaru bihi takes as the khabar in the jumla ismiya as i just set an example when you say the crocodile is a reptile or you can say the reptile is a crocodile so you can use the crocodile as khabar for reptile but you can use reptile which is a species name as khabar for the crocodile that is the similar thing here he, when he gives the example it will be much clearer so he says fallazi yukhbaru bihi huwa al jins the one that is used as khabar the predicate is the family name wa ma la yukhbaru bihi huwa al naw and the type is not used as a predicate for the family name the species name so you can say this example is even clearer so he says taqul you say al burru habbun and the burru here is a type of um, uh grain a type of grain like maize rice all these grains cereal cereal yani so al burru habbun the burru is a cereal i don't i don't really remember the english name of burru but let's say something like i tell you the maize is a cereal can i turn it the other way around and say the cereal is a maize no of course there are some cereals that are not maize but every maize is a cereal so the family name can come as khabar the species name can come as khabar which is habbun a cereal it is the family name and then the type can come to be discussed as in al burru here where we can replace the maize and all that rice and all that so it says habbun jinsun is a species name لانه يصلح ان يخبر به عن البر because it is right for you to use it to explain the bur or to talk about the bur لو قلت if you should say if you should turn it and say الحب بر the cereal is a bur هذا خطا this becomes wrong لا يصح الاخبار به you can use the bur as khabar for habbu because the burru is just a type of the hab you can have another habbun which is not burru لان هناك حبا ليس برا ليس برا عفوا لان هناك حبا ليس برا كالشعير مثلا is given an example that there are some grains there are some cereals that are not burru like the shair the bali that is not burru So you can say al habbu burrun the cereal is burr you can use it that way but then you can say al burru habbun the species name is used as the habar like you saying al waladu insanun get it? insan is a species name but you can say al insanu waladun you can use the type to explain the whole this requires attention okay so he says الذهب another example الذهب نقد gold is money or gold is wealth and the نقد here is جنس because money or wealth covers everything that is wealth so he says لو قلت النقد ذهب خطا you say النقد ذهب this is wrong لأن النقد فيه ذهب وفضة because when you talk about wealth you are talking about gold silver diamond all these stuff fall under uh, نقد so you can say النقد ذهب or you can say الذهب نقد okay الإنسان حيوان let's like the example I give حيوان is a species name it's a family name الحيوان إنسان لا يصح this is not right you can't put it this way okay lazim the species name will come as the khabar but you can bring the uh, species name as the subject and bring the type the noun as to do to inform about the species name you can't do it that way so as another example says al masjidu baitun the masjid is a house of course baitun min buyut la but you can say al baitu masjidun because the jinns can come as a khabar but the noun cannot come as 
the khabar. This is what he's just trying to explain to us. Even Nakul, so we say, Afrad al Mu'allifu al Fi'ila fi awal al Kitab, the author made it al Fi'il, made it singular in the beginning of the book, fi awal al Kitab, Lian al Murada bihi al Jins, because what he intended is the species name, because he's going to um, he wants a noun, one noun that covers everything about verbs, so he says al fail singular. Wajama'ahu huna, and he made it plural here, li'anna al bihi an now because what is intended here is the type. Fa'anwa'u al-af'ali thalatatun, so the types of verbs are three. So the author says, al-af'alu thalatatun, madin wa mudari'un wa amrun. Nahu, so here we can see ma'din instead of ma'di because the noun ends with yai. And so in that case, when it comes at nakira, when it doesn't have the alif or lam, it takes kasratain and the yai is taken off. Like qadi. We say qadin. Okay. So these are the three ma'din wa mudari wa amr. Nahu Doraba Yadribu Wadrib. So Doraba goes for the Mahdi and then Yadribu for Mudari and then Idrib for the Amr. Shin Al Afalu Thalathatun. Verbs are three. Are in three types. Mahdin past tense, he says, Wahu ad Madalla bihay atihi ala zamanin mada. He says it is that which informs or refers to that which is past with its nature. When you look at the nature of the verb, you know that, oh, this action is past. Hai abimana shakil, the way it is. Then mudari, ma dalla ala hadirin, aw mustakbar. Mustakbar, the present tense is that which points to the present situation or the future. Fail mudari is mostly, is sometimes used in Arabic language to refer to that which is in the future. Okay. And again, he says, Amr madalla ala mustakbalin. Amr is that the command verb, the command verb or the imperative is that which refers to the future. Wahazil af'al. And these verbs, tawazza'at az zaman. Tawazza'at az zaman. They've shared the time. That is, some have taken past, some have taken present, and some have taken the future. So he says, al madi lil madi the past tense for the past action. Well, amru lil mustakbar, and the command or the imperative verb is for the future tense. Well, mudariu lil hadr, and present tense also has taken the what is happening currently. Mithaluhu, example of such as the author has brought daraba. When you hear daraba, mata. When did this happen? Looking at the haika or the haikal or the shekel of the verb. What you, when, does, when did this happen? You already know that this has happened before the time a person spoke. Before the time of speaking. So if I say, Darabahu, I, he has beaten him before I've said he has beaten him. For kullu lahazatin tadhabu faqad madad. Every Moment that passes, فقد مضت. It has indeed passed. يعني ليس بلازم أن يكون مضى قبل عشر سنوات. It is not necessary that it should pass like ten years before it becomes fail مادو. No. لو تكلمت فآخر خرف تتكلم به من الكلمة مضى. If you should speak, the last letter that you mentioned that you pronounce. From a word, the last letter you pronounce is past. Daraba yani mada, it has already passed. Isn't daraba yadullu ala al fi'il al madi walau qariban? So the verb daraba refers to past tense verb, even if it is close, closely past. One second, two seconds, it's still past. Okay, so it says. Yadribu an yadribu. If you say yadribu, mana al an, he is beating him now. Akela, mother, yani akela, he has eaten his past. 
ياكلوا اي بمعنى الان حاضر نو كل ذا كوماند اوف اكل كل الى الان ما اكل till now the person hasn't eaten so if you tell somebody cool i the time you've spoken the person hasn't eaten yet so we say that the person will eat after your command that's why we say it's mustaqbal so it says mustaqbal ba'idun am qareeb is it close future or far yasih lil ba'id aw lil qareeb if you give a command the action might take place in the near future or in the far future المهم انه للمستقبل most important is that it is for the future فصارت الافعال متقاسمه للازمان and so verbs have now taken have now shared among themselves the time so that we have ماض ومضارع وامر نحو ضرب ويضرب واضرب okay so this brings us to the end of this particular lesson inshallah in the next lesson we will go to ahkam al fi'l you now open it up a bit inshallah okay allahumma allimna ma yanfa'una wa anfa'na bima 'allamtana wa zidna 'ilman ya rabbal alamin ya rabbi musa wa harun wa isa wa muhammad rasulillah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam akrimna bi quwwatil hifz wal fahm wal ma'rifah